Welcome guys to the Crochet Beads channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to crochet this beautiful cowl. Here is the seam, really invisible. Uh, this is super easy and beginner friendly pattern. Even though it is acrylic yarn, look how soft it is. So I was actually surprised. For this cowl you will need 5 mm crochet hook and red heart super save, saver yarn it is medium worsted weight yarn number four and you will need for this cowl a little bit more than 100 grams so let's check so the skin has uh, 198 grams so you will need more and the leftover I'm going to use for crochet a matching headband so if you want to try crocheting this cowl with me let's do it and start with a slip knot and chain any number in my case I'm going to chain 52 but everything depends on the width of your cowl whether you want to to fold it or not so chain 52 and now let's measure the chain just to know without stretching it now it's a 33 34 centimeters and at the end you will get 32 centimeters so starting with the second loop from the hook and turn the chain and we are going to work through back ridges on the back side of the chain so insert hook in this way so into the second chain into the second reach from the hook make a one half double crochet after that make one half double crochet into each chain into each back reach and again yarn over insert the hook yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook And pull through three. Pull through three and so on. one half double crochet one half double crochet and if you look at the edge it's beautiful and it will help us later to make a beautiful seam so go on till the end so that's what we have Now make a chain two and turn. And now I want to show you how to make a beautiful edge. For this, just at the beginning, place the stitch marker into the first, or let's say into the second chain, or first from the hook. And now count four stitches. One, two, three, four. Now yarn over and make one half double crochet back loop only and from this row we are going to work 
only through back loops. Like this, insert the hook. And later on you will see why we needed the stitch marker. And I promise you will you don't need it to use after all just a couple of first rows to understand how it works. As I said, I am doing it to make a beautiful edge. So one half double crochet in each stitch and back loop only. That's what we get. Go on crocheting till the end. So that's what we have now and now we will need one more stitch marker. So this is the last stitch. Now chain two and we are going to repeat placing the stitch marker in the into the second chain. Because exactly in this chain we will make the last half double crochet. Count four again. The first stitch is the stitch with stitch marker. One, two, three, four, and make one half double crochet back loop only. And again, one half double crochet into the next stitch. One half double crochet. One half double crochet. Please go on in this way till the end. And at the end I will show you what we will do with the stitch marker. So I'm almost at the end, two more stitches, one half double crochet, one half double crochet, back loop. And now remove the stitch marker, but please don't lose the, the chain. The last, this one, you need to turn a little bit in this way and this is the second chain so you make the through the back loop again one half double crochet that's it now chain two again and I do recommend to place again the stitch marker into the second chain and turn. Now again one, two, three, four into the fourth stitch make one half double crochet back loop only. So we are going to repeat the pattern. one half double crochet please go on till the purple stitch marker at the end again two last stitches and one more will be into the second chain so remove the stitch marker 
and to see the chain clearly just turn a little bit this way so one to the second chain and make one more half double crochet perfect again chain two and let's place the stitch marker again turn count four one two three four and make one half double crochet back loop only and so on one half double crochet back loop only Please go on and finish this row till the orange stitch marker. So, last half double crochet, and now you need to remove the orange stitch marker and into this chain make one, two. make one more half double crochet chain two and place the stitch marker if you want if you don't just count four and make first half double crochet back loop only and go on So please look now at the edge, really beautiful, without jokes, this side as well. So I guess it's clear how you have to work, so like this you go on working back and forth, back and forth until the width of the cowl reaches 60 centimeters. So here I am and look. Check the edge, one side, another side, really great one. And let's measure just to be sure. So the length, the length is 32 centimeters, as I said, and the width, so 30 and 30, 60 centimeters. Now we are going to join two edges. So make a chain one and let's join into the corner. Now insert the hook into the front loop here and into the back loop on the other side. Yarn over and pull through all three loops and repeat front loop here and back loop on the other side. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Front loop back loop and slip stitch front loop back loop and slip stitch front loop 
back loop, slip stitch, and so on. Really easy and will be almost invisible. Front loop, then back loop, and slip stitch. That is why at the beginning we were crocheting into the back reach. So this is the wrong side and the right side. Please go on seaming. So that's it guys. Now you need only to wash your cowl. Here is the seam. Here is the right side, invisible and soft. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial with me. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video, share this video, leave comments if you have any questions and stay tuned for the matching headband. I will see you soon in my next video tutorials. Bye!